Yo, what is up guys? It's Bankrupt Dope back with another video and today we are back on Star Rail. Now I just wanted to go ahead and give y'all a quick rundown of how I feel about simulated disaster and everything. And yeah, well before we get into that, I'll be having a good day today and if you're not having a good day, I hope your day gets better. You already know the drill. Now I'm not going to make this super long. I would do a dive, a, a bigger deep diver deep once I complete the entire thing. But right now we're giving my initial thoughts and I will be so serious, like and straightforward. This content is exactly what I said that we needed and what was the main focus of 1.3. It's exactly that. I don't want to say I told you so, but I told you so. Everything else had rewards, which were nice. That was literally, but that was it. There was nothing else to them. It rewards. This is actual quality, uh, quality and long form content, which is what is what the game needs. This game, th this content has it all, y'all. It has the difficulty right off rip. There's difficulty, and I let's preface this by saying, guys, you don't need to beat this now. Just chill. You will beat it. Just relax. Stop typing in these YouTube guys about how to beat it. Just relax, bro. You'll beat it at some point over time as you get more perks and stuff unlocked. Even when you get everything unlocked, you will have bad runs. RNG is not always going to be on your side. And unfortunately, RNG is present in everything in this game. So therefore, there will be runs where you won't get the you won't get the um, blessings you need. You're going to get the wrong cur curios. You're going to end up rolling the wrong, like, like. When you're getting talking to what are the um, paths and everything, you might end up selecting the wrong option and locking yourself out from getting blessings. There are so many things that can go wrong wrong in a run on these higher difficulties that you need to go right. Period. If they don't go right, you die. Even when it goes right, you still might die. Guys, I ran this, had every single preservation buff possible. Most of them level up. And I still managed to die on the very last phase of the last boss because they decided to attack my healing character. Nothing I could do for him at that point. My shield started to run out. My shields finally wore out at the very, very, very end because I didn't kill the boss fast enough. There are so many things that you just have to do. You have to kill in a certain amount of time or else you just start dying. There ain't nothing, there's really nothing to it. There's just so many things. It, there's so much to consider and that's why I love it. So don't try to stress about it. Don't rush about it. Just play it. If you die, you die. It is what it is. And keep in mind that you can farm everything you need to farm on a third stage. So you can still get a large chunk of your resources that you want to do your summoning on the first three parts. You don't have to worry about these other two parts right now. You will get to it. And if that's not enough. So like I said, it has the content and it's hard content. Like I said, this content caters to the sweat, pay to play. Like whales, minnows, free to play, and all the above. It caters to everyone, which is exactly what the content should do. Content is not designed to be, should not just be designed just to appeal to one side of the game. It should appeal to everyone because you have all the people playing, so therefore it should appeal to everyone, period. That's how it should be. And for everybody that's always talking about, oh, well, there's story. It's like, oh, like people are, you know, you have your story stands out there. And people are talking about story. And I'll be so honest with you. Gotcha games thrive, have thrived, and can always thrive without a story. This game could thrive without literally any lore in it if they wanted to. Just just saying that. Now, if you're about to say no, guys, just go do your research. Yes, they can. There are so many games on the gotcha market, on the mobile market in general, that have not an ounce of story to them that are insane and get people to buy all the time. You just need fun mechanics. And this game is no different. As long as there are good mechanics in place, interesting and compelling characters or whatever, that's the key focus of the game, people will buy. So, but, like, like, like back to what the main point is, for the people out there that are always trying to say, well, you're forgetting about the story. Well, the story's here too. And the rewards are here. Bro, it's got it all, guys. It's got it all. Come over to Community Trial. You got your level up tree, which I don't really like. I feel like it should have been integrated with our other simulator universe, but it is what it is. You know, you take what you can get. Another level up tree. Pass Strider. A whole bunch of missions for you to do, which also give you rewards with each one. You complete it, you get 20 silver jade, you get some books, and you get money. 
like I said, you got stuff to do. And then you have your lore over here. I'm not going to go ahead just in case on the off chance that somebody's not all the way there. I'm not going to play that all the way through. But I will play the order because it's the first thing you see. But, you know, it's littered with your talking sense. You can go ahead and talk. Read. All of that. You can skip through an actual game and find it right back over here. So, guys, you, there is plenty of stuff. And then there's rewards that you get for completing each chapter. There is so much here, guys. There is so much here. This content is top tier. In my opinion, this is the best content. Outside of the fact, now let's go over a little flaw that they have currently. And I do call it a flaw because it's not anything that you could have been prepared for. And it's the fact that the swarm enemies are really only susceptible to two things quantum and imaginary. And the only characters that can hit them effectively are Q and, and Bobby the Lunet. And most people don't have a Bobby the Lunet, so you're relying on Q. And if you don't have Q built, well, good luck to you, fam. Because you got to start building her. I mean, yeah, you probably can complete it without her if you get lucky enough and you want to take the time to go through it. But I'm not sure. I will have to see it. I don't think a normal person can clear stage four and five without Q and or in Bible Lune because you're not popping shields fast enough. Now, unless you have like a like another quantum character and you get that buff that gives you like, you know, you kill the shields and you get another turn. Like you have to do very specific things in order to to not have those swarms continue to replicate and on the last stage if you keep those swarms on screen you die period you you cannot live it hits too hard if you don't handle the swarms you die and so if you don't have the certain characters built up you just simply can't do stage four and five without dying even with max preservation you're going to die so just wanted to go ahead and throw it out there now. I think that is a problem. I, don't, I think that these enemies, in my opinion, maybe should have been more susceptible with just a couple more weaknesses because you can't assume people that have um, Silver Wolf either. So I think they made it. They could have thrown some more weaknesses on. That way, other characters are more usable. I thought maybe Fire should have been on because they're bugs. I feel like you extinguish bugs with Fire. But I think Fire should have been in there. At least Fire. If you don't want to throw anyone, I think it should have been Fire, Quantum, and um, Imaginary. The reason I say fire is because of Himiko. I can even throw ice in there. Like, I'm trying to really cater to free play people. Because it's all like, you, to assume that people have everything, all the stuff built up isn't true. But at the end of the day, I guess I could, you could also counter that by what I said earlier. You're not meant to do this right now. So over time, you'll build your queue up or you'll get another imaginary character and you'll be able to eventually clear it all. But as of right now, if you can't beat it, don't stress it. I cannot. Be, I can beat four, but I haven't beat four because I'll be honest, it takes far too long I'm not interested in sitting here for that long running through this over and over and over again to die. I'm just not. So um, at this point, I'm kind of done on running four. I'm just going to run three and get the rest of my missions done. And then once I get my missions done, I'll go ahead and run back four. But I'm in no rush to beat it. And neither should you. The only things that you're getting from that are um, just the initial rewards. That's it. And you can get these initial rewards later. You don't need them now. So don't worry about it. But yeah, that's really all I have to say. I think there are very few cons to it, and it's only the fact that you the, it, the, the ramp on the content is hard at 4 and 5. But guess what? All the rewards that you really need, the bulk of the rewards are in stage 3, which is very a manageable system. You can very much do that. So it's all right. There's no need to... There, there's really not much drawback. The difficulty doesn't prohibit you from getting your rewards. You still get a lot... You get all the story at stage 3. So like... I see no problem with Swarm. Swarm is a great piece of content. It's the kind of content that I look forward to. This is the kind of content that makes me want to play the game. It's the kind of content that I can get videos out on. Memory of Chaos Supercut is still coming. It's on the way. I have completed everything, but I just have to re-record one of them because my recording stopped in the middle, so I have to re-record one of those and throw it into the Supercut. So that's coming out. My How to Beat 3, 4, and 5 coming out later. It's not now. I guess I got a full-time job. I'm tired trying to and still trying to manage the content but it's all gonna come so don't worry so i hope you enjoyed this let me know how you guys feel about swarm disaster drop a like on the video if you liked it comment something down below subscribe if you haven't already and i'll catch you guys next time peace